this is going to be the second part of 2-5, solving the absolute value equation number 7, solving these equations, okay? All right. Um, it's like what I remind you from question D. Make sure the absolute value is by itself before you split it, okay? So is the absolute value by itself? No. There's a minus 6 here. So let's add 6 to both sides, okay? Understand that, okay? This cancels leaving you with just an absolute value of n plus 7, okay? And the absolute value bar equals to 8 plus 6 is 14, okay? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, perfect. Now you can split it into its positive and it's to its negative, okay? So n plus 7 is equal to negative 14, and n plus 7 equals to positive 14, all right, subtract 7 to both sides, you get n is equal to negative 21. Subtract 7 to both sides, you get n is equal to 7, right? Those cancels. So here are your answers. n is equal to negative 21 and n equals to 7. Let's look at f, okay? Let's take a look. Uh, draw the line down here. Negative 6 uh, is on the outside of the absolute value, so let's get rid of that. We want to add 6 to both sides. Now you get the absolute value of negative 5k is equal to 12, right? So now you can now split this into its two parts because the absolute value is by itself. So you get the apps. You get negative 5k is equal to negative 12, and negative 5k is equal to positive 12. Okay, the value that it equals is what changes, right? So here we see it's attached to your multiplication, so let's divide, okay, both sides by negative 5. And now you get k is equal to positive 12 over 5. Here, you're going to again divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, you get k is equal to negative 12 over 5, all right? We leave it as a fraction. Let's look at G here, okay? All right, so we see this, um, we see that there is a negative, there's a nine in front here. So let's subtract nine to both sides, okay? This cancels because nine subtract nine cancels. Negative 45 minus nine gets you um, negative 54, okay? Bring everything else down the way it is. Now, please understand this is attached via multiplication. You can't distribute that parentheses in. So let's divide by negative six to both sides, okay? Then this cancels, leaving you with just this absolute value bar. Okay. Equals to negative over negative becomes a positive, and 54 divided by six is a 9. So it just becomes the absolute value of x equals to 9. Now you're allowed to split it. So it becomes um, x is equal to negative 9 and x is equal to positive 9. Okay, let's do um, h. Okay, we draw the line down here. Okay, let's subtract 8. Um, to both sides because we're trying to get this alone. Subtract 8 to both sides, subtract 8 to both sides. Um, it is, this cancels, okay, leaving you with a 10k. 10 absolute value k is equal to negative 20. Uh, divide this by 10 to both sides. Divide by 10 to both sides, you get the absolute value of k is equal to negative 2. Now you want to split it, okay? The problem here is that this is impossible to do. This here is problematic, and I'm going to type out y. The absolute value can not be equal to a negative value because it represents distance, okay? So that is 
the absolute value cannot be equal to a negative value because it represents a distance. So this one, the answer would be that the answer here would be it has no solution, okay? This problem actually has no solution, okay? You can't really split it out at this moment, right? You could have done all this work, okay? And see that you get here and then you would just write no solution because the reason why is right here. The absolute value cannot be equal to a negative because it represents distance. There's no distance um, uh, of absolute value that will get you a negative two, right? What value can you plug in for K here that you're negative two distance away from the, um, on the number line? That's not possible. So H, it's actually no solution, okay? Notice every single one of the other problems, right? This was equal to a nine, this equals to a 12, this equals to 14, the top ones equals to three, equals to 27, equals to 70, equals to 10. All of them, um, they were equaling a positive number. That's why they were valid solutions. H, when we simplified it and it still became equals to a negative number, it was impossible to do. Nine, do you see how it was started as a negative, but when we did some math, it became a positive nine. So we were still allowed to do that problem. H doesn't work that way, okay? That's why H is still no solution, all right? So be careful because a lot of you got H wrong. You thought you could actually split it into two equations. You can't, all right?